प्लीज डाउनलोड तेलेगू स्टॉप एंड्रॉइड ऐप इन प्ले स्टोर और आई ओ एस ऐप इन एप स्टोर एंड स्टे ट्यून टू लेटेस्ट न्यूज एज इट है गुवाहाटी डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ एफ सी गोवा व हेल्प टू अ वन टू वन ड्रॉ बाई नॉर्थ ईस्ट यूनाइटेड एफ सी एट द इंदिरा गांधी अथलेटिक स्टेडियम एज द एंडेड अन बीटन इन द फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ द इंडियन सुपर लीग आई एस एल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री The unbeaten FC Goa found an interesting match in North East United FC who were seeking their first win in 6 ISL matches. The goals have recently been hit by the injury-ridden absence of their Spanish midfielder Victor Rodriguez, who with 3 goals and assists each had an impactful run in their campaign thus far. His departure required someone from the squad to step up temporarily at least, and those duties were carried out by Carlos Martinez, who had netted only twice before this in this season. But before his goal, the Highlanders had already been hit with a massive blow as their center back Michel Zabako had to be stretched out of the field after apparently pulling up a muscle in the 14th minute. His absence created a gaping hole in their back line and Martinez jumped upon that by beating Ashi Rakhtar in the air to meet a beautifully carved cross by Noah Sadawi. Martinez barely nodded the ball home and got his team ahead in the 20th minute in a move that was first set up by Rene Fernandez and his pass to Noah at the edge of the box. Regardless of the recent run of barren results, Havan Pedro Binali has earned laurels for enabling his side to put up a fight every time they encounter a highly fancied opponent on the field. Pradeep Gogoi had started the tournament emphatically, netting in 3 consecutive games from their first match onwards. However, his influence arguably slightly wore down as the campaign progressed, but Binali didn't lose faith in him and decided to shake things up a bit to rediscover his optimal potential. On Friday night, he shifted him to the right flank and drew instant rewards for the same. Getting past Jay Gupta, he curled in an inch perfect cross for his fellow forward Jitam MS. The latter broke no sweat in finding his way past the duo of Sandesh Jingan and Odi Onandia and hammering the ball past goalkeeper Arshdeep Singh in the 26th minute. If Gogoi and Jitam starred up front, it was custodian Mirshad Michu's turn to keep the scores level at the back. Noah blazed his way through the Northeast United FC backline and laid out a pass for the onrushing Carl Mekhew. The defensive midfielder shot from his first touch outside the 18-yard box and Michu had to die full stretch to keep his effort at bay. FC Goa head coach Manolo Marques was adamant about getting 3 points and his host of substitutions that included the introductions of Boris Singh, Paulo Retre and Mohamed Nemel was aimed at grabbing hold of the elusive winner. That didn't come through, but FC Goa can take a lot of heart from the first half of their campaign, in which they didn't lose a single game whatsoever. For the Highlanders, there is a lot to play for in the second half of the season, after some encouraging displays in the last few months following a disappointing run in ISL 2022-23 altogether. Noah Sadawi regularly troubled the Northeast United FC defense. He completed 23 of his 28 passes, tackled once, made two interceptions, created three goal-scoring opportunities, earned four fouls, and put in nine crosses, in addition to securing the assist for the goal by Martinez. The ISL 2023-24 action has reached the halfway mark with this game. The season takes a for international action, which will see the Indian men's national team compete in the AFC Asian Cup campaign in Qatar. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.